How's everyone doing? It's Ferdinand Debu, and today alone there has been several good news for XRP and Ripple, but the one that caught my attention the most is the talk of a bridge token-like solution at the Congress level. The article actually has a video which I'll post the link in the description in case you want to check that out. I will simply be simply pick out the article and the video a little bit. If you do want to go ahead and watch the video, try uh, skip ahead to around the one hour and twenty eight minute mark, and after that, the one hour and fifty two minute mark. Let's quickly get it out of the way, however, that the talk is not uh, specifically about Ripple or XRP. However, if we do some research around, we can see that. Ripple already has uh, banks testing, Xcurrent, Xsprings, and looking into some of their other solutions. As time goes on, I feel like it becomes more clear that Ripple and XRP are here to stay. There has been around 100 million transactions on Ripple's on-demand liquidity, coming from around 33 million back in 2018. And as we can see that, that is definitely a pretty drastic increase. And I could only expect, we can only expect that it will continue that trend and uh, moving forward. Because I feel like as people see that it works, they're going to want to make the switch because it's benefiting them ultimately, as well as benefiting uh, Ripple, of course, and all of us as retail investors and just the crypto space as a whole. And now, as we can see, this is definitely a bullish trend on that aspect. One of the great things about Ripple is that we already see usage. We already uh, have sat they already have satisfied customers. And I think that's one of the key things there that if they have satisfied customers, that means they're doing something right. And that's just something to keep in mind. And we see all of this increasing. We see the transactions increasing, the uh, added, um, partnerships or customers increasing and it's just a trend that I don't think it's going to stop here. I think it's going to continue going on and on. However, we must also keep in mind that the risk is still there and it is definitely a great one. So that's something very important to keep in mind. One of the things also that stood out is how Munich mentioned uh, right around the 2 hour and 32 minute with 15 second mark, he uh, states that we are focused on non-bank services that don't have liquidity. As we know, Ripple uh, and XRP are essentially also about liquidity. But what did you all think he meant and was it meant differently? Keep in mind that he also says non-bank servicers, which in theory, that is what Ripple is. That's just uh, something to keep in mind. Anyways, that's just kind of threw me off a little bit and it's kind of something to think about if you really uh, look at it. Aside from all of that though, today it was announced that Luno, the biggest exchange in Malaysia, that is French based, they have expressed that them adding XRP to their exchange is a definite possibility. The way I personally see that though, um, before we end this video, is that most likely than not, it will be listed and XRP ironically is going to gain more liquidity, which in theory, it's a good thing. But again, that pretty much does it for today. Uh, have a great night, great evening, great morning, wherever you are, and I'll see you all in the next one.